All right, so this is where we previously left off. We had made a simple HTML document and displayed it in our web browser. Today, we're going to be talking about meta tags, what they are and what they do. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. All right, so metadata or meta tags are usually written or are in between these header tags and they aren't displayed on your website. They're sort of in the background. So whenever Google searches for a website, they'll use that metadata to display your website on their search engine. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to go right below here, tab over, and we're going to add a meta tag and we're going to give it a name equals to description. And the description is going to be, we're going to add content is equal to, in parentheses, we're going to add, sorry, in quotations, we're going to add, this is an amazing website for HTML beginners. Close that up. We don't have to add a separate ending tag for our meta tags. Uh, like, you know, the header tag, there's an opening and a closing. We don't have to do that for the meta tags. Whatever's in, in between the, uh, the greater than, less than signs, that's the opening and closing. So what this does is this meta tag here, it tells the website or Google or the web page that the description of this website is, this is an amazing web or amazing website for HTML beginners. Let's add one more ht or let's add one more meta tag i'm gonna go down there tap over meta name is going to be equal to author and the author is going to be so we're going to put that in between the content ecode and those are going to be our two metadata tags or meta tags. Now we can save the document. I'm going to hit control S and refresh this page. But as you see, nothing happens because this is metadata. It's not supposed to be displayed on the website. It's on the back end where, you know, other websites can use. All right. That's it for today, guys. Don't forget to save your work and I'll see you guys in the next video.